Now, we're multiplying a two-digit number by a three-digit number using the grid method. So, first we need to partition our numbers. 56 is 50 and 6. 234 is 230 and 4. So now, we can write these partitioned numbers down the side and top of our grid. So we have 50 and 6 and 230 and 4. So now, for this box here, we need to work out 50 times 200. That's 10,000, because 5 times 2 is 10. But then, if we have 3 end zeros in a multiplication question, we need 3 end zeros in our answer. Here, we need to work out 50 times 30. That's 1,500, because 5 times 3 is 15, and here we have two end zeros in our multiplication question altogether, so we need two end zeros in our answer. Here we have 50 times 4, that's 200, because 5 times 4 is 20, but then after the 20, after we've multiplied our non-zero digits, we need to put one end zero on the end. Here we have 6 times 200, which is 1,200, because 6 times 2 is 12, and then we need 2 end zeros. Here we have 6 times 30, so that's 180, because 6 times 3 is 18, and then we need 1 end zero. And finally, we have 6 times 4, which is 24. So now, to get our answer, we just need to add up the numbers that are on our grid. We can do that using column addition, and when we do that, we get our answer, 13,104. Now, we have 94, so that's 90 and 4, and we're multiplying by 517, so 510 and 7. We can write the partitioned numbers on our grid, and now, for this box, we need to work out 90 times 500. That's 45,000, because 9 times 5 is 45, but then we have 3 end zeros in the question, 1 here and 2 here, so we need 3 end zeros in our answer. For this box, we need 90 times 10. That's 900. You could think of this as being 9 times 1, with two end zeros, or 90 times 10 is 90 with a zero on the end. Now we need 90 times 7, so that's 630, because 9 times 7 is 63, and we need one end zero. Here we need 4 times 500, that's 2000, because 4 times 5 is 20, but then we need two end zeros after the 20 two end zeros after we've written our answer to 4 times 5. Here we have 4 times 10, so that's 40, and here 4 times 7, so that's 28. So now we just need to add up the numbers that are on our grid, and to do that we can use column addition. When we do that we get our answer 48,598.